if you turn on and off the electricity inside the computer. How come nobody called the police? How come you didn't call the police? With the, with the uh, closet door mangled. No, 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 this is, this is the essence of everything. Why didn't some, why didn't, look, I know why Connor didn't call the police, because the guy was drunk. He had alcohol in his breath, and he was rude to me. I said, if you don't fucking, like, snap to him, you're fucking, you could tell your supervisor the fucking smell of your alcohol in your fucking breath. And immediately he started acting polite to me. So I wasn't looking to get the guy in trouble. I never said anything to anybody, but I know that's why he took off. I mean, I know he reported what happened, and they did an investigation with him later. But how come nobody called the police? How come you didn't call the police? Yeah, because property damage, and I'm freaking out. I did. And you know what they said to me? He didn't call us either. Because Mark was busy telling him that, that I was a, a scorned lover. Mark was telling him that I was upset because I was a scorned lover, and that I'm crazy, and that I probably did it myself. And the police don't know what to think. And so the fact that you didn't call made them think, you know, I don't, that's what I mean. I, this is, I'm just realizing this later. How that last question made him nervous. I mean, what? I, these are the kind of absurd conversations that I'm forced to have, like completely naive to the fact that. I mean, for a second I thought, did Ray help Mark do this? I, I mean, I don't think that, because I mean, it just uh, because of what Mark said and the fact that his electricity was shut off the day before, that just all made sense. He all but incriminated himself when he accused Con Ed of doing it in front of Con Ed and then played dumb. But, um, but why would Ray drive away from me like that? Play dumb. That was his old truck engine making so much noise. You can barely hear what he says, but you can hear it. And that's why I'm repeating what he says. Because I'm trying to gather evidence. I'm not trying to entertain you, Miss Maddie. This obnoxious woman who I so politely just asked for a little insight into how things are done this morning. And she like took this attitude with me, hoping that I would lose my temper. I am so sure. I mean, anyway, uh, Hillcrest never called the police when the electrical closet was broken into. And I said, why didn't you call the police, Ray? And he said, well, I didn't know who did it. Why, why should I call the police if I don't know who did it? And I'm actually explaining, well, that doesn't mean you can't call the police because, in fact, you're supposed to call the police so they can figure out who did it. But the police didn't want to figure out who did it. Management didn't want to call police on squatters and the management a year later because Lou was the management at the time when it happened this conversation was a year after it happened as it struck me like you know it just really bothered me how seriously 
strange it was for the management to just completely ignore the situation, especially when they've got someone not paying common charges for 10 years and they're squatting for all intents and purposes. Why would they turn a blind eye to something really dangerous that he did, a guy that's selling guns? And if they were investigating him for selling guns... And that was a more important investigation, and that's why they didn't want to get caught up in this. I mean, that might be an answer, but you know what? I'm not giving anybody an out because it's just another example of how they've allowed me to get kicked around, beaten up and bruised and battled, and and to the point where what's happening today is happening. So for documenting all this absurdity so that one day I can make them accountable... They're still, you know, on steroids trying to, like, screw me over.